Okay, so now, now, after, okay, after, just let you know, just let you know, after, after the press conference, we will take terminal after, uh, after your mic, so, uh, and change the mic, okay? And she's ready next to the camera. No, no, we can't do it from the zero. If you would like to test it now, we can test it. So, like, we have this, right? Thank you. 
One, two, hey, check, 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 check. I'm going to go through all three mics. One, two, one, two, hey, check. Check, 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 check. Can I get some thumbs up back there or something? Okay, I see one, two, three. One guy's still in his phone. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Mike. <laughs> okay. This is another mic. One, two, one, two, one, two. Is that really hot? One, two, hey, check, check, check. Derek, check, bring check, that down check, a little check, bit for check, me, please. We'll if you're still back mics. there, one, thank two, you one, very two, much, hey, Derek. One, two, one, two, hey, check, check, check. Can I get some thumbs up back there or something? I see thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. still in his phone. Okay, great. Okay. One, two. Thank you, folks. One two one two one two one two. Hey, check 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 check. This is good. another mic. One two one two, then, one two one two. Is that really one, hot? One two. Right, hey, check check Derek, check, bring check, that down check, a little check, bit for me, check, please. We'll if you're still back mics. there, one, thank two, you very one, two, much, hey, Derek. One two one two. Hey, check 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 check. I see thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Still in his phone. Okay, great. Okay, one two. Thank you, folks. One two one two one two one two. Hey, check 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 check. This is another mic. One two one two one two. Is that really hot? One two. Hey, check check check. Derek, bring that down a little bit for me, please. If you're still back there, thank you very much, Derek. One two one two. Hey, check 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 check. I see thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Still in his phone. Okay, great. Okay, one two. Thank you, folks. One two one two one two one two. Hey, check 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 check. This is another mic. One two one two one two. Is that really hot? One two. Hey, check check check. Derek, bring that down a little bit for me, please. If you're still back there, thank you very much, Derek. One two one two. Hey, check 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 check. I see thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Still in his phone. Okay, great. Okay, one two. Thank you, folks. One two one two one two one two. Hey, check 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 check. This is another mic. One two one two one two. Is that really hot? One two. Hey, check check Derek, bring that down a little bit for me, please. If you're still back there, thank you very much, Derek. One two one two. Hey, check 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 check. I see thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Still in his phone. Okay, great. Okay, one two. Thank you, folks. One two one two one two one two. Hey, check 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 check. This is good. another mic. One two one two, one two one two. Is that really hot? One two. Hey, check check. Derek, bring that down a little bit for me, please. If you're still back there, thank you very much, Derek. One two one two. Hey, check 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 check. I see thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Still in his phone. Okay, great. Okay, one two. Thank you, folks. One two one two one two one two. Hey, check 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 check. This is another mic. One two one two one two. Is that really hot? One two. Hey, check check. Derek, bring that down a little bit for me, please. If you're still back there, thank you very much, Derek. One two one two. Hey, check 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 check. I see thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. In his phone. Okay, great. Okay, one two. Thank you, folks. One two one two one two one two. Hey, check 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 check. This is another mic. One two one two one two. Is that really hot? One two. Hey, check check. Derek, bring that down a little bit for me, please. If you're still back there, thank you very much, Derek. One two one two. Hey, check 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 check. I see thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. In his phone. Okay, great. Okay, one two. Thank you, folks. One two one two one two one two. Hey, check 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 check. This is another mic. One two one two one two. Is that really hot? One two. Hey, check check. Derek, bring that down a little bit for me, please. If you're still back there, thank you very much, Derek. One two one two. Hey, check 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 check. I see thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. In his phone. Okay, great. Okay, one two. Thank you, folks. One two one two one two one two. Hey, check 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 check. This is another mic. One two one two one two. Is that really hot? One two. Hey, check check. Derek, bring that down a little bit for me, please. If you're back there, thank you very much, Derek. One two one two. Hey, check 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 check. I see thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. In his phone. Okay, great. Okay, one two. Thank you, folks. One two one two one two one two. Hey, check 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 check. This is another mic. One two one two one two. Is that really hot? One two. Hey, check check. Derek, bring that down a little bit for me, please. If you're back here, thank you very much, Derek. One two one two. Hey, check 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 check. I see thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Still in his phone.
in his, in his phone. phone. Okay, great. <laughs> okay, <laughs> one, two. Thank you, folks. One, two, one. Two. Good morning. Thank you very much for coming today. Uh, we are very grateful and privileged uh, to have with us uh, the Honorable Robert Chigulani, also known as Bobby Wine, who, uh, after a uh, horrific good morning attack by the armed forces, to thank you very much for coming today uh, on him and on uh, his entourage. We are very grateful which involved uh, the assassination uh, to have of his driver us, and close friend, the Honorable Robert Chigulani, who was sitting in the seat known as Bobby that Wine, he had occupied just who, moments uh, before a uh, uh, horrific Bobby good morning amazingly here with us. Forces of thank today. you very much for so coming I'm today. Going to ask him you to, and on uh, his entourage in your remarks. We are very grateful to make the some assassination of, some of, the legal to of his us. driver and close friend, <laughs> Honorable you, Robert Chigalani, was sitting in the seat um, as Bobby that Wine. he had I'm occupied. Glad to be here. And most importantly, I'm glad to still be alive. Um, I'm here against the advice of my doctors and my family, but I thought it's more important to be here. Uh, especially on behalf of my fellow Ugandans, particularly those in Chad on the East, and those that uh, still go through the repression. Um, it should be noted that I'm not presenting myself as a victim, because I'm nobody's victim. I'm a survivor, and I would rather represent resilience rather than giving up. Um, I was brutally tortured by the, some armed um, soldiers uh, from the SFC, um, beaten, brutalized, and abused, and later um, locked up um, in the military barracks. Um, charges were later dropped, and I was taken to uh, a civil prison. And finally, I was bailed up. I'm here um, for specialized treatment which I'm still undergoing. I am humbled to see that my brutalization has attracted uh, the attention of my countrymen and women and indeed the world over. But still I'm challenged because um, many other Ugandans go through the same or even worse brutalities. For example, when I was in prison, there's uh, this guy that cannot go off my mind whose back was broken. Um, there's a lady who had just had a, C a baby through a C-section, who was beaten so bad that by the time we were released, she was still passing blood. Uh, there's another lady called Sauda who I don't know if she will survive. All these people and many others, i um, sad that the world might never know them. So the opportunity that I get, I always want to raise my voice to speak for them because I'm lucky that maybe the world knows me but may never know such people and I want to use every ability in my voice to speak out for them. And that's why I'm here, ladies and gentlemen. And yes, I'm also 
here to symbolize the resilience of Ugandans, to tell them that we still stand for justice, equality, freedom, and dignity for everybody. We represent the power of the people. Um, Ugandans have always been wanting freedom. They've always been wanting to be the masters of their destiny. They've always wanted to live in a country where leaders are servants and the people are the true masters. And that is what we still advocate for. We advocate for people power, which indeed is our power. And to assert that no amount of brutality, no amount of repression is going to cow us down. We saw to ourselves that we shall insist on the fight for freedom. I'm here for treatment, and as soon as my treatment is done, I am going back home because Uganda is my home. Uganda is our home. We have never had and will never have another home, and it's upon us to create a home that is good for us, for our children, and our children's children. I thank you. Thank you, Bobby. Uh, briefly, uh, while Bobby is receiving treatment here, um, we will be meeting with uh, congressmen, congresswomen, uh, members uh, of various departments, the State Department included, and we will be providing them with uh, details of what has been happening in Uganda, the brutality, uh, the, uh, the uh, truly uh, criminal activity and violations of human rights that are occurring daily. And we want the American taxpayer to know that the American taxpayer is funding this. The military equipment we are supplying to Uganda is being used in a war of terror against Uganda's citizens. This is not an isolated incident. Uganda has a storied history of political violence, an ongoing history that the West has largely ignored. We cannot ignore it any longer. We cannot ignore Africa any longer. In, within the last few weeks, the German chancellor was touring Africa, thank God. The, uh, the Chinese have invited heads of state from all over Africa to Beijing. It is time for America's voice to be heard and heard loudly in terms of looking at, A, the Leahy Act. The fact is American arms and American equipment have been used to torture Ugandans. We call on the U.S. government to immediately suspend military funding to Uganda, launch an investigation immediately into the use of U.S. equipment to torture Ugandan citizens. We are compiling a list under the Magnitsky Act Ugandan torturers beware. Your ability to travel, your ability to hold assets abroad may well be put at risk by your continuing to participate in a special squad of torturers set up specifically by the Ugandan army to engage in this brutality. Using American military equipment, we have absolutely made the determination that we are going to conduct an investigation into the deaths of other opponents of this regime. Suspicious poisonings, car accidents. There is a long list of tragic activities which involve those who dare to speak out in Uganda. It is incredibly important to those who work with Bobby Wine to try to ensure his safety on his return to Uganda. We are here against medical advice because we know that whatever medical treatment he receives here 
will be negated by the treatment he receives there if they continue the ongoing brutality. We have to find a way to stop it. We have to find a way to derail the Musvinis regime's descent into terror and torture against their own people. Now, a lot of comments have been made with people saying, well, because he's, he's got an international lawyer, somehow there's some foreign agent involved. There ain't no foreign agent involved. There is, however, something to note. And that is that the Museveni regime is a foreign agent of the American military with respect to its activities in Sudan and Somalia. And therefore, it is Washington that has the ultimate control over what's going on in Uganda today. And that is why, despite the torture, and let me, let me assure you that not only has he been in hospital and undergoing treatment, but I have been with him at a, the most recent examination. And we are constantly seeing from the Ugandan authorities a sort of torture double act. First, they brutalize you, treatment, but I then have they been with him at a, the most recent and examination. Then they go, they and give you the false news. We are news constantly seeing from the Ugandan authorities. Where they want you to embarrass sort of yourself, torture and your family, double act, and suffer the indignity First they of putting your body on but display. When they so you can demonstrate a, just how vicious they are. And then we're not they doing. Go, they and give you the false. We are, we are accumulating the medical where they want you to take it to embarrass sort of yourself, torture your double act, and suffer the indignity First they of putting your and body on but I have they been so you can demonstrate exactly how why and then we are here. We're not doing. And we are here to put the Ugandan authorities where they want you on notice. To embarrass yourself, when Mr. Wine returns to Uganda, First they brutalize to face the charges. I have been treated for that. Exactly as why and then we are. We're not they doing it. And, and I can't talk with our Ugandan authorities when they want to on notice. It is inappropriate when Mr. Wine returns to Uganda to face what I can't do. And this is the third set of charges. Mr. Wine returns to Uganda to face what I can't do. And this is the third set of charges. Mr. Wine returns to Uganda to face what I can't do. And this is the third set of charges. Mr. Wine returns to Uganda to face what I can't do. And this is the third set of charges. Mr. Wine returns to Uganda to face what I can't do. And this is the third set of charges. Mr. Wine returns to Uganda to face what I can't do. And this is the third set of charges. Mr. Wine returns to Uganda to face what I can't do. And this is the third set of charges. So this is the third try. Exactly. Is why and then and I are here. We're not doing about it. And I can't talk with our Ugandan authorities. Because of my history in Africa, but because of my history and in Uganda. I was in a press when the president of the Ugandan in, in Russian cases on and off for many years. And the Museveni regime is taking a page from Mr. Putin's book. They torture you. They poison you. They poison people in England, oh, and then they can be in Russian cases. And we're not going to play that on and off for many years. The Ugandan the public regime deserves is taking better. a page from Mr. Putin's book. Africa's they torture youth you. They poison you. Better. They poison and people Bobby in England, Wine, and then they can be in Russian cases. Russian cases. And we're not going to play that on and off for many years. Thank you very much. The Museveni regime deserves is taking better. a page from Mr. Putin's book. Uh, I think Africa's they torture youth you, they poison you better. They poison and people Bobby in England, and, and then they can have a problem. We're not going to play that on and off for many years. Thank you very much. The Museveni regime deserves the military detention that I saw how much people stood with us, not just in Uganda, but from Kenya to South Africa, from Rwanda to Nigeria, people stood with us. I must give special respect to the people that excuse me, paid the price. Yasin Kauma. Excuse me. Hi, I'm at Michelle Kellerman with National Public Radio. Um, I wonder if you're worried at all that you, you talk about going home, but if you're worried at all that you may get stuck here, that they may not let you come back home. 
and if you could talk a little bit about the contacts to date or the response of the U.S. government to date, whether you're satisfied at all with what they've been telling you. And if you don't mind moving the microphone a little bit more in front. I must go back home. Uganda is my home. I don't have another home. I'm Ugandan. And I'm going back home. Yeah. And, and we're not going to comment yet. It's too early to comment on any uh, American response. I, I want to say, obviously, we're grateful that Bobby is here. And, uh, you know, thank God that uh, he is here and that he can get the kind of highly specialized help that we've been able to uh, obtain. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you. Uh, for, for the Union of America, uh, two questions. Oh, sorry. Uh, Paul, in the whole Voice of America, uh, two questions for you. Uh, first of all, uh, Honorable Chagrany, uh, good to see you. Uh, maybe comment about uh, your health uh, situation right now. How, how are you feeling? Uh, what have uh, the doctors uh, said? And uh, uh, for how long are you going to undertake uh, the treatment? Uh, secondly, can you also respond to some criticism that is coming uh, from uh, the Ugandan government uh, in regard to uh, the statement uh, that you issued uh, earlier talking about how you're tortured, uh, the government has come out and said that uh, they did not torture you. Can you respond to that uh, kind of criticism? Thank you. Well, it is in, it is a habit for the Ugandan authorities to torture people and then ultimately come out and lie. Like I said, I'm not the first person to be tortured. We've seen people that have been brutalized even worse than I have been. You've seen the Muslim clerics that have been tortured. Um, we've seen women that have been tortured. Even right now, we have people that are rotting in hospitals out of torture. And like I said, it's, it's a privilege for me to be able to even access specialized uh, treatment. And the least I can do is to speak out for those hundreds, if not thousands, of people that have been brutalized. Um, I cannot uh, continuously, like Bob said, subject myself to indignity, indignities. I cannot um, undress myself, but just a little that you can see of my body is uh, probably a signal to the torture that I went through and the torture that I believe people are still going through. And also to mention, um, just I was, I was uh, on the way um, here, I got information. Uh, my wife is running a charity organization called um, Helping Hand Uganda, and uh, um, it is uh, helping girls to make reusable sanitary pads. But her co-founder was kidnapped and tortured so badly for two days when and uh, he was being forced to agree with the security forces uh, that he will be a key witness to pin me that uh, and uh, to confess that uh, I'm being funded through my wife's NGO. Um, that is the least that we see, but this is ongoing with many people. Yeah. All I know is I'm still alive as of now. What happened to the hand? Um, this and more, my, my skin keeps peeling. This uh, blister that I received. Um, all I know is I'm still alive. Feeling. Uh, I got injections as of now. that I don't know about, and uh, I spent quite a long time a long time on cuffs, um, shackled both hands and legs, and my um, hands swelled. This and more, my, my yeah. skin keeps peeling this uh, blister that I received. Um, yes. All I know is I'm still alive. I'm feeling. Uh, I got Thank injections. Thank you, Rosalind Jordan with Al Jazeera English. And, uh, I spent quite Mr. a long Wine. time 
There have been reports suggesting that the government is hoping that any oil deals it makes with the Chinese government could somehow buy it more credibility with young people, that it could lead to more jobs for young people. Do you believe that the Museveni government is acting in the best interest of Ugandan youth? And if not, why not? Thank you. Rosalind Jordan with Al Jazeera English. Mr. Wine. There have been reports Uganda suggesting that the population is that is over 80% that percent oil deals under 35 years old over 80% could somehow younger than me. Buy more credibility and still young it boasts that it could lead of to more jobs for young people. And Do you believe young that the Museveni government is now is now in here. the best interest like many other of people. Ugandan youth? And All we desire, not, we desire is, is to have a say in our country. And, uh, it is Mr. not Ryan, about Museveni. And indeed, it's not about me. The population is about that is over 80%. And all we desire is to see that the people of Uganda and the masters it boasts our own destiny. And all we desire is to see that the people of Uganda and the masters it boasts our own destiny. Over 80,000 unemployed in the young people. All I know is I'm here to like many other people. And All we desire, not, we desire is, is to have a say in our country. Uh, it is not Ryan, about Museveni. And indeed, you got not about me. The population is, is, is about that is over 8,000. And the only thing that is desired is to see that the people of Uganda and the masters it boasts our own destiny. Of more jobs, over 8,000 and employees in the young people. All I know is I'm here to like many other people. All we desire, we desire is to have a say in our country. Uh, it is Mr. not Ryan, about Museveni. And as you can know about me, population is about that it's over 8,000 and that all the people that desire is to see that the people of Uganda and the masters will be born to the destiny of the team of over 8,000 and what to get them the answer. All I know is I'm here to and let the many other people all we desire will be put on the table. Uh, we desire just to have a say in our country. International investors in Uganda have obligations under it's it's not about global seven compact and greater uh, principles, corporate human rights principles. We intend to contact major investors in Uganda to copy them in respect to uh, the torture issues, to highlight uh, the lack of proper governance in Uganda to highlight the militarization uh, that is going on there in terms of popular behavior and, and of the government, and uh, to ask them to intervene. It is now, frankly, a duty of these multinationals that attend all these conferences and spend a lot of money on, uh, on all these nice uh, CSR documents to uh, step up. We have a critical situation in a uh, an absolutely critical uh, country uh, in Africa. And now uh, those people who invest in uh, Tullo and uh, other uh, these conferences and <laughs> activities a in Uganda, on. like uh, the key banks, th they're all going to be contacted. And we're going to put uh, our pedal to the metal in terms of making sure that uh, investors understand that while individuals don't have access to rule of law, that is an issue that impacts their investment. And while we're not today in any way seeking disinvestment from Uganda, what we're seeking is responsible investment in Uganda. Including from the Chinese and Russians? Listen, uh, you know, frankly, um, one of the things that's important for the Chinese to understand as I think they are starting to, uh, now that Malaysia has uh, rejected two of their, their newest projects, uh, is that there is, even for China, a balance. And, and uh, uh, yes, I think uh, given the massive presence of China in Africa, uh, there is no country that should not, uh, should not be made aware of what is going on. But it is, as I said, sadly, it is U.S. weaponry. So we, we, we have to deal first at home. It is U.S. weaponry and it is uh, $500 million of uh, U.S. taxpayer money that's going to these arms that are being used uh, against Uganda's own people. What about the U.S. churches? Are they involved in Uganda? 
absolutely another area that, that we intend to touch on. But I think, you know, people need to understand that uh, what happened as a result of Arua uh, is only beginning uh, to be digested. Um, we have people in intense pain. We have a government that is, in fact, reeling from being found out. Uh, and, and I think it's incredibly uh, important to recognize that this vicious brutality against the 33 in Arua is not a new development. What's new is that because of Mr. Wine's notoriety, it's come to all of our attention. That's, that's really what's new. And when you see what's happening in Ethiopia and you see what's happening in South Africa, there is a new wind blowing in Africa and the Ugandan government has to get back to basic principles and they have to disband the torture cell and they have to bring those people to justice. Thank you very much. Okay, one more. My name is Samuel. Uh, question is, what do you make of the treason charges that have uh, been put against you? And secondly, do you consider yourself to be an opposition leader who would run for president during the next election? Excuse me. We, we've been asked by our Ugandan council not to have Bobby speak on the issue of treason. I have to respect him. And we, we've got to stay away from that. Sure. I will not talk about the treason charges because it's sub -judice. But again, I want you to know that it's not about me. This is not about Bobby Wine. I'm just one of the more than 40 million Ugandans that want freedom, that want justice, and they want dignity. So this is not about me. It's about that young lady out there who works every day to feed her little child. It's about the young men and women who are educated but cannot find a job. It's about the religious leaders in their interreligious council who every day um, want um, change and seek for peaceful transition. It's about the elders that are continuously embarrassed um, by the ongoings in the country. It's about all of us. And that's why we say it is people power. It's not about Bobby Wine. It's about the people of Uganda. Sorry. What will justice look like for you and for your wife, Barbie? What, what, what does that look like? Justice is, one, the leaders being answerable to the people, people being the true masters of their destiny. Justice is having everybody equal before and under the law. That is justice for me. Yes, sir. Thank you. My name is uh, Ni Akwete. I'm not a journalist, but I'm an activist, and I'm Africa-born. And I have worked to see the US support democracy across Africa for 40 years. And so I'm happy to see you here and getting good medical advice and good legal advice. But my question is, what do you want um, the US activists and people who push for democracy in this country, um, what would you like them to do so that they can get the US supporting democratic processes in Africa rather than dictators? What do you want us to do? I'll be brief. I want you to stand with the oppressed, not the oppressor. Thank you so much. My name is Biggs, uh, Aloysius Bigiva. <coughs> My question is, uh, it's, it has become tradition for the African leaders What do you want us to do? Come to the West for specialized treatment those in power, and uh, of course those who are not in, in power as of yet. 
So Miss, my brother and friend, Bobby Wine, once if you were to be lucky to become a leader of Uganda or as a member of parliament even right now, what do you hope to, how do you hope to change this trend? Because while the leaders are able to get those specialized treatments, not everybody is lucky to get the same treatment. So what's your take on that? Like I said, I'm lucky and humbled. One, that my brutality is seen by the whole world and that I have the opportunity to come for specialized treatment. I've never left my country for treatment, but because of the distrust of our institutions, uh, for example, I was brutalized. The second time I was uh, arrested from the airport, I was brutalized in front of a government doctor. And because of what I was, was injected in me, myself and my family was scared that um, our medical institutions did not have the ability to find out what exactly was in me. I was referred. And yes, because I was treated from Rwaga Hospital, which um, I really, really recommend uh, the doctors who are highly professional. But after treating me of the wounds that they could treat me, of the bruises that they could treat of, they had to refer me because uh, my back had more complications. I had to get more specialized treatment in the United States. But my hope and prayer is that together as the people of Uganda would make our home well, um, facil we would make our hospitals well uh, on the standard that we don't have to leave our home for medical treatment because this is just me, but thousands upon thousands of Ugandans need good health care and they cannot afford to leave their country and indeed they should not be leaving their country to be treated elsewhere. This has ever been there, we've ever had good hospitals, we indeed can have good hospitals if our leaders serve for the benefit of their people. But, but I, think, I think it needs to be brought out and, and I think the Ugandan government has been unfair in this. Bobby's torture, the two more sessions, doctors were in, in their presence. And I think in the, at the time that, that you were removed from the airport, there was actually a doctor in the ambulance witnessing a, another brutal beating. And in fact, they, they, they unscrewed the light bulb so journalists couldn't see them beating Bobby in the, in the, the ambulance. So when you lose respect and the ability to believe that the doctors are actually going to be looking after you, and now we've seen today that uh, there's been some report released that Bobby was fine. Well, the Ugandans can try this kind of bogus trick, but my message to the Ugandans is we have him in specialized care. We have details and documented uh, analysis and treatment going on. There is, there is not going to be any doubt about what happened, but what we're going to do is use that information with the authorities in the United States, with the authorities at the United Nations, and attempt to seek retribution. This is a fight that is much more than uh, a, a political fight in terms of media. This, this is a fight to actually change the methodologies used by the Ugandan government to torture their people. The goal is that Ugandans will have the rights that their government signed them up to under the International Covenant for Civil and Political Rights. What happened in Arua was that there was a by-election and the government and the army were very unhappy that they lost. And rather than determined to make Uganda better, they determined actually to assassinate Bobby. Because the torture is a side play. They wanted to kill him, and that's why his driver was murdered in exactly the position they expected Bobby to be in. So this bunk from the government, nobody believes because this is a government that is afraid to actually compete in Uganda for the votes of its people. 
because they have no policies. They don't want to debate policies. What they want to do is intimidate and break the opposition. And, and Bobby's goal and that of many other Ugandans is to make sure that doesn't happen. So again, thank you very much. Can I speak in Uganda, please? Sure. Eriba na Uganda mwina, nchali mulamu. Budeo, okujoko gira na mwene wanku badea wa sawo bange, ne familia yange bade tebagala, njogere, kubamba de nchali mbuja njabi. Nenzo kogira jemuli, kuba nafuno mukisa, okunyigiri zibwa kwange, ne wanku badea wa ntubanji nyoba nyigiri zibwa, wabali oboli ya ono kusinganze, Njaga dembele edobozi eri mwe nuko gira wiki na maso mguanga liafe. Okumekinga shuwa anti chine chantu seko techida muku tuka kumutu mulala ena ena. Nchari mugumu, musigalenga muli wagumu, musigalenga mwagale nsi ya mwe, nga mukiriza mwusi ya mwe, elanga mukiriza mwuchuka chuka, nga buli umwa gamba mwuneinti, people power, our power. That was brief, right? <laughs> I agree with everything he said. <laughs>